Hey guys, welcome back. And it's surprising that now that I have like this really strict schedule of where I need to study every day from this basically 9 or 10 to 5 to 6 or maybe even longer and maybe even earlier depending on how I'm feeling, I've been wanting to film more. And that's probably because filming it's like a good break. I can't say filming is- okay, filming might be relaxing, possibly, depending if you know what you're doing and if things won't distract you, but editing can be a pain in the butt, so I'll try not to do something to make me not have to edit because I don't know if I have time to- how much time I will have to edit. Yeah, if that makes sense. And by the way, I am sober this time. I have my- a second part of my project pad and this is just non-makeup items. I don't want to say it's just skincare because not everything is skincare like there's some perfumes and body sprays and hair masks or there's one of each of those but it's mainly skincare face and body skincare so yeah so let's start with um, a random order I'm gonna try to do this in what I'm expecting to finish off first to last. The first thing I'm expecting to finish off is this Biore Warming Anti-Blackhead Cleanser. This is actually what I have in the shower and um, I love it. It's great because like you know when you're all nice in the shower and all toasty and then you put and like it gets activated with water and you put on you're like oh it's so warm on your fingers and you put it on your face like oh it feels so good and so warm. And, like it helps either wake you up or relax you. For me, it works both ways depending on what time of day I'm used, I'm showering. Cause sometimes I may shower just in the morning or just at night. Depends how I'm feeling. The second thing I'm expecting to finish is going to be my hand cream. That's because there's only like a little bit left of there. It's like that much left, barely. I could use- it this should have been gone like months ago and I should be on my second tube. Oops. And if I- finish this I'll probably include the second tube that I have but it's a different set it's a green tea set which I like better I know I'm rambling but I hate the scent it's probably why I haven't used it even though it's like such a little small amount left because it's like <sighs> sweet berries and I was like I think there was a little foil is there a foil or something covering this when I first got it and I did I just assumed like oh whatever it's berries and I just and I realized I hated the smell of it so but <laughs> yeah whatever um, and I think that's it. Everything else is probably going to- oh wait, no. I'm- if you guys remember my knee and elbow, I- from my very first time trying to do this project, it was like a 5 by Cinco de Mayo, but I never ended up doing it because I got lazy. Um, I only have a little bit left and I actually- it was kind of silly to have it in this huge- jar so I transferred it into this little honey jar because it's smaller and I only have like that much left can you tell can you tell um this is one of those things like because I am very lazy when it comes to my skincare routine which is really bad because I should take better care of myself with that um yeah I'm hoping I could finish this next after one of those two that I just mentioned and the reason why I have still have that container is because I repurposed it to put coconut oil in so that we could be separate from the coconut oil and like you know when we cook because we both use coconut oil and we cook in this household and I use it for my face my family sometimes use it for their skin but I want to keep that one separate because that one is specifically just going to be for removing my makeup so yeah um, all right let's just continue on with skincare with the face Face. I have a uh, St. Ives blackhead scrub. It's the thick one that's really like coarse. It's extremely, extremely, it's extremely coarse. And I really like that because it feels really good to me. I don't have sensitive skin, so it feels great. And um, I feel like it helps with trying. Okay, I know scars are like this in depth thing where it's like it okay I'm kind of tired I don't want to explain skin because I'm going to get all medical on it but it's basically 
goes up to like your not just your epidermis it goes into your dermis and sometimes deeper than that and I can't remember the name of the layer underneath the dermis and that's kind of annoying me right now but whatever I'll probably insert it here somewhere and I had really bad acne when I was younger and I also didn't have high self-esteem so I didn't take care of my skin very well when I had acne and this makes me feel better by thinking if I scratch the surface it'll help raise the old scars up and then it'll make it better that's just my weird logic I know it's not true like I know it's not true I am I, I know that's not how your body works but that's just it just makes me feel better and you know what sometimes that's what I gotta do just make you just gotta do things that make you feel good and Squirtle agrees right Squirtle yeah he agrees that's why he's so happy huh? the next one is another Biore product it is the blemish fighting ice cleanser uh, I this one is on my sink and honestly like I said because I don't take the best care of my skin. This has a lot of product still in left. It's about halfway. Which is not that bad. No, technically I've had this for like about a year. Probably should be done by now, but... <sighs> Meh. That's just me. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this project pan non-makeup items is so that way I can keep myself in check. Because when I did it last time, I don't know what was wrong with me. I was just like, oh, whatever. I'm not going to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Next, I have my Oleg. <sighs> what is this? My moisturizers. They're both. I have the both. This is the daytime one, and this is the night one. This one does not have SPF. This one does. That's why they're separate. <sighs> Ooh. This one... What happened here? You exploded, sort of. Mm. Anyways, some of it came on the lid. Probably when it tipped over. Oh well, but I have not that much left in it. If I use this every day, I should probably be able to deep finish this before the end of summer. I'm hoping that I could actually finish this before this and this, my moisturizers, actually all of this, I want this to be done by by the end of August because I think my final day of me staying in California is end of August and I don't want to bring things that are like almost done with me because I probably will just end up nuking it and I don't want to nuke things when I know I could just finish them. So for the night time, I have quite a bit. It's funny because before I used to have a lot of the night time less of the nighttime and more of the daytime and then I started using more daytime than nighttime but um even though this doesn't have SPF if for some reason I do end up finishing this first before this and I still have a lot of this left I will still be using this for the daytime because I don't see the point of buying another um, moisturizer when I'm one, I actually don't go out in the sun that much, or I won't be going in the sun that much because I'll be indoors, but meh, whatever. Next, I have a hair product. This is a hair mask. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of this. It's um smell of aloe vera, and I, this is what's really silly that we have aloe vera outside my house right now, like five buckets or something of them, but no. I'll probably start going to using that after I'm done with this. Uh, this is clear. I don't know why I'm showing you right now, but it's right there. And BT Dub, I probably won't be marking this because since these are like, some of these are bathroom stuff, I don't want it to get wet. I mean, I could try, but like I'm not going to mark these because it's not possible. Let's go to Sensna. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I missed my last skincare. The last skincare item I have is this Escanol um, cleanser. It's like after you wash your face and before your toner, you would put this on just in case there's some little bits of left make of makeup left because you never know. Makeup is tricky. They'll find ways to stick on your face. And um, this is in... <sighs> Pour 
minimizing and it does feel very fresh and like um if you if you're in the philippines and then you see this it's supposed to be clear it's kind of opaque because i kind of like mixed in a little bit of my moisturizer not moisturizer my old ponds what is it what did i mix it with the the toner because there was just like this little bitty bit of left and i didn't want to have this huge container with this little bitty left of toner so i just pushed it in and yeah last thing are scents i have one um body spray and it is this one right here it is the bath bed bath and body works it is not it says white cherry blossom but it's not it's velvet tube rose um this is in the old packaging and i really like the old packaging for holding my hair ties because the other ones are kind of big and they stretch out my hair tie it stretches out my hair ties too much and i have very thin hair i have a lot of thin hair so i don't need it to be like really stretchy out so i always just like keep this bottle and just like repurpose it like untwist the old ones and then pour it in and blah 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 so i have about and let it just stop shaking that much like a little bit above the pink line so yay and i have one huge full black size bottle but i'm not going to include it because it's still full i'll just probably do it in my next one but i don't know how I'll be able to do it because the thing that sucks is I actually do like perfumes and I like body sprays but because I will be working as a nurse hopefully knock on wood I pass I can't wear body sprays or perfumes because there are patients that are allergic to those and you can't have you know patients sneezing just because it's your perfume because you might be thinking of something else so that's why I'm trying to finish these up while I can. I think if I do a set thing, it'll probably be like, this is what I'm going to try to finish in a year. This is, okay, I have no idea what the brand is, but um, this smell is affection. And there was actually another leaf here, but, or right here, but I broke it off because I'm vicious like that. And for the longest time, I had a hard time seeing through this, but now that there's like sufficient enough, I can kind of see it if I raise it to the glass. It's about halfway to the halfway point. And I know once it gets lower because it does get sh shorter, smaller, in the butt of the apple, it'll go by quick, but because it's still at the top, like I think um, I had a hard time trying to figure out how much I had left in here because it was just here at the top and up here because it's just very fat not very skinny like that i had a hard time trying to measure where i was at so yeah part of me wanted to add a nail polish or two but i get bored with nail polishes easily like this one the reason why i have it like repainted my nails is because i am filming this on a thursday i'm gonna take it off tomorrow anyways or maybe even tonight because i'm like as pretty as this color is i'm kind of kind of sick of it like I'm okay if it's on my toes so I don't see my toes very often but this is what I see every day I'm sick of it and I just want to oh no never mind I was about to include this my acne treatment but I don't use that every day and I guess I'll, I'll include this because I keep forgetting to use this but maybe including this will help this is a makeover essentials bronzer I thought this was like a face bronzer. I was like, wow, look at this huge ass face bronzer. It looks like the one from Face Shop. I think Face Shop has something like this, but it's a clicky one. Like you click at the butt and it comes out and then you put it on your, all over your face. But the thing though, the brush in that is really soft. And this is like deceptive. Like it feels soft on your hands, sort of. Actually not. I'm lying. It does not feel soft on your hands. At first I thought it felt soft because I didn't have many brushes. So I was like, you know, a brush novice. I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of brush novice. But anyways, like, I, it looks, let's see if I can get it on me. Let's see if you can even see this. I think I'm too dark right now for you to see this. Let's just try right here. Clear, 
Okay, yeah, you probably can. But, um, I'm assuming that there's more than this little bitty. I'm assuming it's going to be this whole thing because it's about, there's 2.3 grams in here. And apparently it expires to two years after opening and I opened this like last year December so I'm gonna try to see if I can even make it so that way you can see a little bit you know like when you turn it and like oh hey you can actually move the product around it's not just so peppy tight in there so yeah kind of rambled on a bit didn't I <sighs> I guess that last part would have been considered a makeup item but I'm not <sighs> I don't care I'm gonna do what I want because that's not gonna be going on my face. It's gonna be just going on my body. And everything else is face and body. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. I am sober. I'm just really tired. And when I get tired, sometimes I go crazy. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.